most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. So we're back at the mascot and we're just going to show you some other real cool aerial footage that we have and this may be going to be our last time here. Uh, they're not that happy about us uh, being there, getting threatened from Burke and from the band that uh, that owns uh, some of this land I guess. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back in the mine and we're going to go up the uh, into the mining 4800 level and we're going to go up the Dixon decline. We uh, got done last week at the 900 level. And we're going to, or at the 1,000 level, we're going to continue on up to the 900 level. And uh, we're going to go up to the end of the decline and show you what's left of the of that level, the 1,500 level and that. So, yeah, just really cool buildings. Uh, you know, I hope that, that the publicity of all you guys watching this, that this video has gone viral. People love this um, historic um, site here. And hopefully, uh, you know, that will uh, be the... The catalyst to to have something done with it would be a shame to see this historic site just kind of deteriorate. This is the actually the number two uh, uh, tram that goes down. It's completely rotted. I mean, there's nothing really left of it. All you can really do is take pictures of this. It'll never be preserved. But um, it's cool to have a record of it. I mean, that's all. It's not going to be that many more years. This is going to completely collapse. And uh, it was it brought ore up from the 4300 up to the main level, the 4800 of the mascot. And there's a just a pocket here, so the winch come up, or the cars come up this uh, this ramp here, and this is where it tipped right up into the top, and then it was loaded onto an ore chute onto the 4800, and then takes it back to the the main buildings of the mascot. So uh, it's quite a, an engineering feat, and this is where the cars here. This is where the cars go up, and this is the pocket that it goes down. And uh, like I say, this is all really rotten. It'll never be preserved. It's going to fall down pretty soon. So we're just going to take it for another quick little walk around the the main 4800 of the mascot and um, like I say you know it'd be a real shame to see this deteriorate just nothing's happened with the last couple of years they're actually shooting a movie up here pretty quick so they're going to do a little bit of work to kind of fix it up a little but um, they really don't appreciate visitors here at this point um, but hopefully uh, you know the publicity of this video um, you know kind of attracts uh, them maybe to do something more with it or get some investors or something um, so they talked about putting a, a gondola up here. The problem is the stairs are kind of in rough shape and it'd be a lot of money. Um, they're okay now, but they're not really suitable for tourists to go up there. So that's why they don't like to have people there. They're kind of a little bit worried about the liability, I guess. Um, the other possibility is uh, they could take uh, just have a helicopter tours up there because there's a beautiful landing pad up there that's uh, fairly new where you can fly up there with the helicopters. You can kind of see it uh, right in the middle there. You can see this big pad there. This is actually where, yeah, so you, you, you just look up from the main level, right in the middle there, there's a big, uh, looks like a big ramp there, so you can land there safely with a helicopter. And we're just going to take you for uh, just a quick little peek inside the compressor room again, which is really cool. Um, you know, and the, the models and stuff that are there, they're just uh, awesome. They did Someone did a really nice job on them. And we won't show you to them too much. Uh, if you look back in the other video, if you want to have a look at the beautiful model of the mine, and you know, lots of artifacts and stuff in there. And we didn't touch any of this stuff. We just left it all there. So, um, yeah, there's just a little shot of the model there you can see. And we'll head back out in the main deck and uh, shut the door here. And we will go into the main hall level and uh, head back up that Dixon uh, decline and show you the rest of it. So, this is the main hall level of 4800. Uh, we're going to head into that and uh, go a little ways up there. And then we'll be up into the other... 15 level, which is the bottom of the Dixon decline, and we'll go from there. So we're assuming it's 1,500 feet up. We only went to the thousand level, so there's another. We only went a third of the way, so we'll come back and uh, we'll do the rest of it. Just uh, as long as we don't go for a swim here, <laughs> and we still have a camera. Wow, pretty cool. All right. Hopefully it won't go swimming. This seems pretty solid. I don't, know. I don't know if this is that old, this part. 
Hmm, I feel air. Let's see, well that doesn't go. Seems pretty good in here. Doesn't go very far, it's just right to there, I think. Well, maybe it goes around the corner. Oh, there's a cool cart. Flat deck. Pretty big one. Okay, that's just a way of getting around there without going over that decline, that's all. That's just going to go right back to where we were right there. Alright, fine. We came from that way, I think. Well, there's a pretty nice looking box. Nice handle and everything for it. Hmm. Nothing ever in these boxes, you know. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Thirteen six forty seven. Yeah. So all this was kind of mined at the same time, around uh, after the Second World War. So we're, we're at where this other decline was, the one that's really nasty, way steeper and all caved in and everything. And there's just a little, some steps here. And away it goes again, so. Let's see where this goes. Boy, I feel air. Well, that's cool. Yeah, there's air here. Huh. I bet you we're gonna have a nice, get to the end here and have a nice view off the end of the mountain here somewhere. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we're coming into an old uh, compressor room here. Oh, yeah. There's no equipment left there. They pulled everything out. Yeah. Those. Yeah, that doesn't look terribly old, eh? All took all the everything out of here. It's really hollow sounding in this big room. Yeah. Big timbers here, holding something together. Ooh, and there's a ladder going up there. Yeah, they're in a big air compressor in here, I think. Ooh, it goes up to there. Huh. Yeah, no much for equipment left in here. If you look at the, those rails, they go down to this decline, and it's a dump, so a dump right there. Kind of hard to get up there because it's really rotten. Pretty steep, you don't even want to walk over there. But the cars only went that far, and they went down. They tipped right there. You can see where the, where the rails end right there. So this... Decline's really steep and it goes down. Looks like it's a lot older than the other one. And it goes down at a way steeper angle than the, the other one. No stairs or nothing. Definitely a rope job. Probably flooded down there too. So that's the ore came from the bottom. Yeah, the guy might be able to get over there. Have a look at it. Isn't that nasty, eh? eh? No big deal. The car is just what a dump there. Hmm. Well, there's an old uh, that's for unrolling cable. It's got handles on both sides. Cable spool. Two guys that have held that and spooled cable out. Probably for a mucker or something. Mucker cable. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Be a nice cube here. Huh. <laughs> Fair bit of water running out of here. There's a their own gate. It says exit this way, portal. Um, oh, there's a drill. Piece of drill steel. Huh. 
Oh, Ooh, didn't come this way. How do you recognize this? We're still continuing to check out this level just over the 4800. Oh, I see light. Oh, wow. Alright, we're on the world side. Oh, cool. Huh, I bet you we're looking into the pit somewhere. One of them holes looking into the pit. Let's see. Another stope here. Yeah. Just got a bunch of numbers and stuff. Nothing really too exciting. Must take a bunch of samples. There's a ladder going up to higher levels. But we're more interested in seeing how come we can see daylight all of a sudden. <laughs> see what we're looking at. There's daylight. Huh. Maybe I can get a cell phone signal here. Well, I check out this door. Pretty neat handle on it, eh? Yeah, it looks pretty old. <laughs> neat. Yeah, we're seeing some pretty neat sulfides in here now. And we still see that daylight in the distance, so we're really curious as to what we're going to see when we see the light. Well, there's a big air door here, and we're getting closer to the light, so we'll see what we can see. There's ice in here. Okay. Now, the thing about my navigation of mine, I know which way to go, but I always know where I am. <laughs> or what direction I'm heading. <laughs> Just chained up. Well, that kind of sucks, eh? Well, maybe it's not chained up. Yeah, it is. We can't get out. <laughs> So obviously that's what that was, is an emergency exit. Oh, this air up there. Feels windy up there. Okay. All right, so exit, exit, that's a, huh. So we haven't really figured out how to get out of here. <laughs> we'll just keep sticking to the right, I guess. Oh yeah, we were here. We saw this. We thought maybe we'd want to go up there. Not sure why. Oh, look at how uh, black this rock is, whatever. It sure looks like ore bearing material, but obviously it isn't, otherwise, I would have mined it. But looks pretty neat. Oh, it says dead end here, so we don't believe anything. Probably is a dead end. Doesn't mean we can't go for a little walk down there. Yeah. Pretty crumbly in here. I don't think this was backfilled, I think it just fell. Maybe. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gonna go much further here. Bit of an exploration shaft in here, I guess. Hmm. Yep. Just that's it. All right, this is the branch that goes up from the 4800 levels, um, going to the left. So when we come up those ladders, we're gonna leave our rope. This is the other branch. It says there's no exit here, but let's just have a look and see what there is here. Well, we went quite a long ways into here, but unfortunately we can't go any further because we're seeing an oxygen alarm, so not safe to go past here. It says no exit. So, we got air problems here, so we'll turn around and go back. Um, went in quite a long ways, so I don't know, maybe it's an exploratory thing. 
So the oxygen's a little low, I guess, so I'm going to turn around and go back. Like I said, this thing's pretty sensitive. Can't tell you tell what it says. Probably just a little low, but who knows? You don't want to take any chances. There's big tracks in here. So pretty wide. Right in this corner. There we go. Here's good now. Hmm. We could try sneaking back again. Huh? <laughs> so you say that turn around. No, right on this corner. Yeah. We're not gonna go any further. Stay out of them low oxygen areas. Probably gonna be alright, but I wouldn't guarantee it. That's what they got the monitor for, right? Can't afford to carry. We've now reached the nine level. Actually, probably, yeah, so it's 9,000 level. And it keeps going. Well, it's caved in more, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. But let's check out the nine level water here. Gives us a chance to catch our breath. So it hasn't been too tough going up so far. We're just about halfway. We never find nothing in these things. So what we found out from a guy that works at Barrick. So the reason they were in here in 85 was they came in here to um, do some more exploration before they started the open pit. So that's when they fixed the stairs up. Just so they can get in here and do all that. Oh, this one's good. Better than the other ones were. Also falls floor, but if I walk on this pipe, it should be just fine. It doesn't seem to be sinking down there, so this one's better than the other ones were. <laughs> we're on the false floor, probably. Not gonna fall, right? <sighs> okay. Well, let's we'll stick to the right. See what we can find. Here's this. Station 901. Go this way. So we're seeing a level just about every hundred feet. And then um, oh, oh, we're looking. Looks like we found a oh, some horse cart parts. Mm -hmm. Axles from horse cart. That's a pretty old one. That's uh. Because uh, there's no, it's not, there's no grease fittings in that. That's a really old cart. There's no grease nipples on that. No bearings. Seized up. It's an old cart. Hmm. Right, what do you think of this false floor? Yeah, probably be all right. Walk on here. Shouldn't be a false floor here. Well, let's have a look. This is pretty quite a bit of workings in here. So as we're getting up, the mine was worked from the top down, so I guess we're getting into some of the old levels, older levels. Better get our flashlight. See what we got here. There's a puck going down. So that will go right down to the 1500 level and then the old the ore come up the tramway from there. That was a pretty neat room, eh? Let's see if we can get in a spot here where it's on the level I can pan around here. Okay. Year. Oh, 51, 1951. Huh. Yeah, 49. Oh, 
great big stoped out area. Huge pillar. Oh wow, look at the size of this room. Huge. I don't really know if you can see across there. Hmm. Very large. Must be really hard rock too because you're not seeing much. Not very steep in here. Pile of wood there. We might just try going up this stairs here. See what we can see up there. Maybe instead of going up the decline, we can just slowly climb our way up through the stopes. <clears throat> Might be a little more interesting. Oh, well, you can see there's a wall here that built. <clears throat> there's some ladders that go to the higher levels. Mm. Hmm. And that's where we came in from. Okay. Well, you're not going to be able to check out every level. We do that. Oh, we can always check out more on the way back. Probably take the decline down. Let's go up these stairs. Looks pretty cool. Well, it's still in good shape. Huh. No big deal if we fall off these stairs. <laughs> you only fall six inches. <clears throat> Those kind of stairs I like. <clears throat> Little hemp rope there. Okay. With some airlines. I hope it goes to the right here. There's kind of a cool level down there. A pool, but. Ah, we're going to continue on. We don't want to get too distracted here. We'll keep going this way. We start going down every place we can go down. We'll be here for a week. Yeah, so it doesn't even look as steep as the decline. Hmm. A little kind of area that's a little filled in here. Yeah, I really got to watch for false floors here. Everywhere. No rats this far in. I guess that kind of means that there's no way to get out here really. Anywhere close. Hmm. Oh. Pretty extensively mined area in here. ladders in here. You gotta really watch for these false floors though. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is filled in. Hmm. Yeah, we're going up. I don't know if we should go up there maybe. Might not be a bad idea. Backfill tunnel there. Since the arrow goes up, it's probably the geologist made that arrow there. So it might be an easy way to get to the next level. The deposit doesn't go down that steep. Well, you see way down there it says DS, so in this mine that means Dixon Slide, I guess, or the Dixon Incline. There's also arrows going up, so we thought, ah, oh, we just follow the... That doesn't go anywhere. We'll just follow the stope up. Pretty easy going, so... Maybe more, a little more interesting. We'll just go to the next level. We were at the 900, so we should be... I'm thinking we're going to hit the 800 here pretty quick. Pretty, uh, lots of flowstone in here. Huh. And not very tough walking, so it just happens to be the the angle of the deposit is is uh, in our favor for once. <laughs> okay, so it makes really nice walking through here. Oh. Well, there's a lot of material there. It almost looks like it was backfilled or something. 
from the top maybe. Might be getting... They had three pits here. There's only one left. What happened was when they started to finish the first pit, they started the second one, then they dumped all the waste rock into the previous pit, which to, totally obliterated it. So the only pit you see today is the very last pit because uh, they didn't have anywhere to put the rock. Oh, it was kind of a cool bridge here. I don't think we'll be crossing it. It was kind of sketchy. <laughs> I think it's kind of seen its better days. This is something about that bridge there. Looks like it just ends there anyhow. Backfield maybe. And it goes down. Yeah, that's where we were. We came in on that level. Hmm. All right, so one of the cool things, look, daylight up there. Huh. Let's see where that is. Looks like they tried to block that off with some expanding foam. That should have worked a lot. Look at the squeeze, see there, it'd be kind of cool to see where we are in the pit. Now we know where we are in the pit, but we can't get through because it's too skinny. I can stick my camera out though. There we go. If I could just move that one rock out of the way. I could get out, but this rock was a little lighter. I could kind of almost push it out of the way, but not quite. It moved a little. If I had a bar, I could move it. And we don't need to get out here, really. I'm worried about this one coming loose on me. Yeah, if I had a bar, you could get that out of the way easy. But we can't quite get it. Oh, well, that's cool anyways. <laughs> well, I know where we are. So we're just going to go back down. Back to the 800 level, I guess. Oh, look at that fractured hanging rock. Oh, that's not nice. We've got to be careful not to touch that. Well, there's some old shovels. <clears throat> kind of a neat area in here. Okay, there's the 900 level of stairs that we went up. Huh. The big face of some ore there, some type. Look how white that stuff is up there. Oh, and that's that catwalk right above us. So, this is as far as it's going to go. They've got her blocked off. They built a big wall here. And then you can see the back there. Right behind us. Probably cement it off or something. Huh. And then the ceiling there too. Well, that's it for this deep line. Still going no further now. I blocked it off. Which kind of figures because we're close to the pit. So. so it goes up to about the 800 level. And that's about it. Maybe one day we'll go down that real scary decline with a bunch of ropes, but that'll be complicated to get down to the 4300. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour 